Well, a very good evening. You're very welcome along to the Sligo Club Championship draws for 2021. We've got five draws for you this evening, four in football and one in hurling as we lay out the path for the various clubs around the county to glory over the coming months. We're here this evening joined by two of the sponsors of the Championship, I'm delighted to say. We've got Seamus Hannan, the National Account Manager from Arivo, and Caroline Miller, the Brand Development and Marketing Executive with Homeland. And you're both very welcome along. And Caroline, I'm sure Homeland, delighted to be involved for a second year as title sponsors. Definitely. Um, we're really glad to be involved again. I know that we, well, we have 34 stores located within the Northwest region and nine in particular in County Sligo. So I'm sure all of those um, team members involved uh, within the local community, they know a lot of the players and they'll be cheering along and following the draw and following the, the championship as it goes along. So we're absolutely d delighted to be involved again. And we're delighted to be here tonight and thank you for your hospitality here at Homeland. And uh, Seamus Arrivo, second year involved as well. Yeah, Carl, it's our second year to be involved. Uh, we had a very successful year last year. Great partnership. It's a great partnership for Arrivo to be involved in. We, you know, we're very much centre of the community and the communities where, where most of our staff live and work. Um, we employ about 650 people throughout the region. So, you know, this club championship sponsorship is a major part of and it's an important part of our, of our uh, sponsorship. And uh, very appreciative of your support. So Seamus and Caroline, thank you both very much indeed uh, for joining us tonight at the start of our draws. So we'll get cracking with our draws tonight. As I say, we've got five for you over the course of the next half an hour or so. We'll start with the Senior Hurling Championship draw and then we'll have the football draw. So the Junior B and Junior A Championships will be followed by the Intermediate Championship draw and then we'll have the Sligo Senior Football Championship draw for 2021 at the end of tonight's proceedings. Delighted to say alongside me for the Senior Hurling Championship championship draw we've got Sean Reynolds the chair of the Sligo Hurling Board who will conduct the draw and Fergus Leonard the secretary of the competition controls committee to explain the format of the draw so Fergus very good evening to you. Good evening Carl. Uh, so for the senior hurling championship we have uh, six teams uh, they're going to spin to two groups of three um, first first team drawn are going to group one second team drawn are going to group two third team drawn are going to group one and so on um, the top two in each group of three will go forward to the semi-finals. Very good, Fergus. Thank you very much indeed. We'll hear from Fergus throughout the course of the evening with the various uh, formats for the competitions. The teams in the draw tonight, here are the numbers that you'll be looking out for in the Senior Hurling Championship draw. Number one is Colry St. Joseph's. Number two, Calera Strand Hill. Number three, Eastgay, the defending champions. Number four, Navon. Number five, Tour de Strand. And number six, Western Gales. As I say, Sean Reynolds is alongside us to conduct the draw, the chair of the Sligo Hurling Board Committee. And Sean, I suppose it's a, a good time for hurling in the county. Yeah, we've uh, uh, we've had another very good uh, campaign in the the national league. Uh, our Sligo senior hurlers have gained promotion again. Uh, we're going to be playing in Division Two uh, next year, uh, and we're still in the Christie Ring. Uh, and also our under twenties are having a really good run uh, in the All Ireland uh, series as well. So uh, yeah, we're continuing to to build on on hurling, uh, and we're continue to go from strength to strength. And we're looking forward to another competitive and uh, entertaining Sligo Senior Hurling Championship uh, over the coming months. So we'll uh, get our first draw underway. Sean, you've got uh, the canister there and we can get the draw underway. So as Fergus says, two groups of three for the six teams. So the first team out will go into group one. So Sean will pick out the first team. Number four. That's number four. So Nave Owen into group number one. They are the first team out for this year's Senior Hurling Championship draw. So the next team into Group 2. Number 1. Is number 1. Colliery St. Joseph's, the first team into Group 2. A team of real pedigree. And they take their place in Group 2. So the next team into Group 1 alongside Nave Owen will be? Number 2. Number 2. Culera Strand Hill also made the breakthrough in recent years. So they go in alongside Nave Owen. The next team into Group 2 will go alongside Colliery St. Joseph's and that team is? Number 6. Number 6, Western Gales won their championship back in 2010, so they go in alongside Colliery St. Joseph's. So two more teams remaining. The last team to complete Group 1 alongside Navon and Culera Strand Hill is? Number 5. Number 5, Torla Strand in alongside Navon and Culera Strand Hill and one team remaining in the draw to complete the draw. And the final team into Group 2. 
Number three. Is number three, Eski, the defending champions having won the title last year. So there is your Sligo Senior Hurling Championship draw for 2021. In Group 1, it's Navon, Kulera Strand Hill and Torla Strand. And in Group 2, Colry St. Joseph's, Western Gales and Eski. And the competition gets underway this year at the end of August. So on the weekend of August 28th and 29th, the action will get underway in the Sligo Senior Hurling Championship for 2021. So Sean, thank you indeed for your help this evening in drawing uh, the Senior Hurling Championship draw. And we wish all the teams well in this year's competition. So we'll move on now to the first of our football draws tonight. And that's in the Junior B Football Championship for 2021. Quite a few teams in this draw for this year. We'll run you through the respective teams and their numbers in a moment. But first, uh, Fergus, we might just get from you the format for this year's competition. Yeah, thanks, Carl. So we have uh, 16 teams in the Junior B Championship for 2021. Um, they're going to be drawn into four groups of four. And the top two in each group is going to qualify for the quarterfinals then. So the draw is going to go, the first drawn team is going to go into group one, second team into group two, third team into group three, fourth team into group four, the fifth team drawn will go back into group one and continue on that order. Very good. Thank you, Fergus. So, as uh, Fergus mentioned, 16 teams in the Junior B Championship draw for this year. So, we'll run you through the numbers that you'll be looking out for for your own club tonight. Number one is Ballymote. Number two, Colry St. Joseph's. Number three, Castle Connor. Number four, Kulara Strandhill. Number five is Curry. Number six, Drumcliff Ross's Point. Number seven, Eski. Number eight, Eastern Harps. Number nine, Ennis Kilglass. Glass. Number 10, Owenmore Gales. Number 11, Shamrock Gales. Number 12, St. Farnans. Number 13, St. John's, number 14 St. Michael's, number 15 St. Patrick's and Tubber Curry are number 16. And delighted to say alongside us for the football draws tonight, we've got the chairperson of the Sligo County Board, Sean Carroll. And uh, Sean, just before we get the draw underway, great to see the club championships on the horizon again. That's brilliant. Yeah, it's great to, it's great to have the club championships coming up. Um, you know, great excitement uh, heading into them. Um, it's, it's, it's brilliant to be here as well with, uh, in the premises of Arrivo. We're delighted to have renewed our, our deal with them for the, uh, the Connacht Gold Junior and Intermediate Football Championships and the Homeland Senior Football Championship. Indeed, so we look forward to the championships for this year. And as I say, this is the first of our football draws. We've got the Junior A Championship, the Intermediate Football Championship and the Senior Football Championship to come. But now it's time for the Junior B Football Championship draw. So Sean, we'll let you get it underway. So the first team out will go into Group 1. Four groups of four, as Fergus mentioned. So the first team out is... Number 14. Number 14, St. Michael's, the first team out, and they occupy the first position in Group 1. So the next team out will be the first team into Group 2. Number 2. Number 2 is Colry St. Joseph's into Group 2. So two teams out. The first team into Group 3 is? Number 4. That's Kulara Strand Hill. The first team into Group 3, so they take their position there. And the first team now into Group 4 will be? Number 15. Number 15, St. Uh, Patrick's into Group 4. So now we go back to Group 1 again to join St. Michael's. The next team out will go into Group 1, and that will be? It's number 12. Number 12, St. Farnans, who have a good pedigree in this competition. Lost out in the final last year. They go into Group 1 alongside St. Michael's. Next team into Group 2 alongside Colry St. Joseph's. It's number 7. Is number 7. Eski go in alongside Colry St. Joseph's in Group 2. So the next team into Group 3 is? Number 13. Number 13 is St. John's in alongside Kulera Strand Hill in Group 3. And the team to join St. Pat's in Group 4 is? Number 11. Number 11. Shamrock Gales. That's their third senior side in this year's competitions and they go into group four so back to group number one to join st michael's and st farnans number eight is number eight eastern harps into group one the next team into group two alongside colry st joseph's and eski is number three number three castle connor so two west ligo neighbors into group two alongside colry st joseph's next team into group three number 16 is number 16 turber curry Join St. John's and Kulera Strand Hill. And then the next team into Group 4. Number 10. Number 10. Owenmore Gales join Shamrock Gales and St. Pat's in Group 4. So four teams remaining in the Connacht Gold Junior B Football Championship draw for 2021. 
Number one. Number one. Ballymote complete Group 1 alongside Eastern Harps, St. Farnans and St. Michael's. The final team into Group 2 is number six. Number six. Drumcliff Ross's point. Join Castle Connor, Eastgate and Colry St. Joseph's in Group 2. Two teams remaining. And that's number nine. Number nine, Enniscrone Kilglas go in alongside Tubber Curry, St. John's and Kilera Strand Hill in Group 3. And the final team out of the Junior B Championship draw is? Number five. Number five, that is Curry, who go in alongside Omar Gales, Shamrock Gales and St. Pat's. So that's your draw for the Connacht Gold Junior B Football Championship for 2021. So let's recap that for you. In Group 1, St. Michael's, St. Farnans, Eastern Harps and Ballymote. In Group 2, Colry St. Joseph's, Eastgate, Castle Connor and Drumcliff Ross's Point. In Group 3, Culera Strand Hill, St. John's, Turber Curry and Ennis Gronke Glass. And in Group 4, St. Pat's, Shamrock Gales, Omore Gales and Curry. Con O'Mara is alongside us for some analysis on this evening's draw. I suppose the first thing, uh, Con, to, that jumps out there is the number of teams this year in the Junior B Championship, and it should be fairly competitive. Oh, it definitely will be. It's fantastic to see so many teams. As you said there, Shamrock Gales are the third team for a player to Shane Quigley, I don't know. You know, must, how, he's, how he's alternating training there to get all those guys out. I know he's involved with their second team as well. But the standout there is, you know, we'll use that cliche with every draw, the group of death. Um, the teams that I would have circled before coming in this evening were St. Michael's, St. Farnans and Eastern Harps were three of those. So the three of those are in group one there. St. Michael's under Declan Feeney have made a great start. They've beaten St. Pat's twice, another team that are worth talking about with Porrick Clark home. And of course, St. Farnans, as you mentioned there, Carl, uh, were beaten in the in the the run of the, the, the Junior B the last time round a couple of weeks ago there so they'll have, I'm sure in the dressing room after being beaten by Kalani Milnabrina, they'd have set their targets and they're up and running already and then Eastern Harps down from Junior A so those three in there along with Ballymote, that's a really that's a really tight group the rest, you don't really know until the day who's going to be used, who's going to be needed in the, in the, in the higher echelons of club football but there's some tasty ones there and again it'll be interesting to see St. Pat's with Porrie Clark back with a, a Dublin Senior Championship in his back pocket Yeah, and we look forward to the Junior B Championship for 2021 and that competition shall just get underway on the weekend of August 21st and 22nd. So that's the Connacht Gold Junior B Football Championship draw for 2021 and I think we're ready now to get the draw underway for the Connacht Gold Junior A Football Championship draw uh, for 2021. So I'll just call on Fergus Leonard, the Secretary of the CCC, just to come back in for a moment just to run us through the format for this year's draw in the Junior A Championship, Fergus. Thanks, Carl. Um, so the Junior A Championship uh, this year, there's eight teams. Um, so they're going to be split into two groups of four. Uh, the top two teams in each group will go through the semi-final and the bottom team in each group will contest the relegation final. Um, so the draw will be proceed the same as before. The first named team will go into group one, first drawn team will go into group one, second drawn team into group two, third drawn team into group one and so on. Okay, Fergus, thank you very much indeed. So the teams in the Junior A Championship for 2021 and their corresponding number for this draw. Cluna Cooler, number one. Number two, Kulani Monabrina. Number three, Omar Gales. Number four, Shamrock Gales. Number five, St. Mary's. Number six, St. Melosh Gales. Number seven, St. Michael's. And number eight, St. Pat's. So they are the teams in the Junior A Championship for 2021. And Sean, I'll let you get the draw underway. So the first team out will be the first team into Group 1 for this year's Junior A competition and that team is? Number 6. Number 6. So St. Melosh Gales go into Group 1. Next team is the first into Group 2. It's number 5. St. Mary's go into Group 2. So two of the second teams out first. Next team into Group 1. Number 1. Is number 1, Cluna Cool. We've made a, an encouraging start to this season. They go alongside St. Melosh Gales in Group 1. Next team into Group 2. Number 4. Is Number 4. Shamrock Gales go in alongside St. Mary's in Group 2. Next team into Group 1. It's Number 8. Is Number 8. St. Pat's go in alongside Cluna Cool and St. Melosh Gales in Group 1. So next team into Group 2 alongside St. Mary's and Shamrock Gales is... Number three. Number three. All more Gales go in there in group two. So two more teams remaining. One into either group. This team will go into group one. Number seven. That's St. Michael's. So St. Michael's alongside Clunacool, St. Pat's and St. Melosh Gales. And the final team, Sean, 
is number two. Is number two. Kalani Mullabrina, the Junior B champions from last year. So that's your draw for the Junior A Football Championship for 2021. In Group 1, St. Meloche Gales, Clunacool, St. Pat's and St. Michael's. And in Group 2, St. Mary's, Shamrock Gales, Omore Gales and Kulani Mullanabrina. So Con, that's the draw for the Junior A Championship, a competition that has become really, really competitive. It has, and me at Culpa on about St. Michael's and St. Pat's. <laughs> Porrie Clark won't be coming down from Dublin Senior Championship to be playing Junior B, of course, there in the Junior A Football Championship, and that's a really tight group there. Uh, St. Michael's Finton Ruddy and goals kicking out bombs that are landing 70 metres, uh, you know, with the, with, with the team they've around there. Uh, you've got uh, St. Pat's, as we mentioned in there, and then Clunacool. Uh, Fergus won't like me to hear me saying it, but they, they did a real eye catch him in over St. John's in the league last weekend. Um, David Kern in with them, you know, the likes of Huey Marin and Reen Moylan, they'll, they'll fancy themselves there. So, very, very competitive and, and great football to watch. Yeah, we look forward to the Junior A Championships of that competition as well, scheduled to get underway on the weekend of the 21st and 22nd of August this year. So that's our draws for the Junior B and Junior A Football Championships this evening. So now we're on to the draw for the Intermediate Football Championship for 2021. So we've got uh, 10 teams in this competition. We might bring Fergus back in just to run us through the format of this as Sean just uh, gets the balls ready. So. Ten teams in the draw for the Intermediate uh, this year. Here are the numbers for the teams to watch out for in the draw. Number one is Ballymote. Number two, Bonanadden. Number three, Castle Connor. Number four, Eastern Harps. Number five, Eski. Number six, Enniscrone Kilglass. Number seven, St. Farnans. Number eight, St. John's. Number nine, St. Melosh Gales. And number ten, Torla Strand. So they are the teams in the draw. And Fergus, you'll run us through the format for this year's competition. Yep. Thanks, Carl. So the, the format uh, is um, similar as previous year in 2020, so split into two groups of five, a uh, round-robin competition. The top two teams in each group will progress to the semi-final, so the first team in group one will play the second team in group two, and the second team in group one will play the first team in group in group two. Uh, the bottom two teams in each group will contest the relegation semi-finals, and as, previous, as the previous draws went, the first name team will go into group one, second drawn team into group two, third drawn team into group one, and so on. Very good, Fergus. Thank you very much indeed. So this is the Connacht Gold Intermediate Football Championship draw for 2021. You're watching us live on the Sligo J YouTube page or you're listening to us on Ocean FM. And Sean Carroll, the chairperson of the county board, will get the draw underway. So, ten teams in this competition, as mentioned. The first team into Group 1. Number 6. Number 6. Ennis Grown Glass are the first team out. And they occupy the first spot in Group 1. The first team into Group 2 number three. is number 3, Castle Connor into Group 2 as the first team out there. The next team into Group 1 number ten. is number 10, Tour Le Strand, their second team, won the Junior A Championship last year. They go in alongside Ennis Grown uh, Number 5. Number 5 is Eski in alongside Castle Connor. Again, the West Ligo neighbours in the same group as they are in the Junior B Championship. Next team into Group 1. Number 4 is number four, Eastern Harps, down to the intermediate grade this year. Having been in senior for so long, they go into group one alongside Ennis Grown Kiglas and Torla Strand. Number eight. Number eight, St. John's, in alongside Eski and Castle Connor in group two. The next team into group one. Number seven. Number seven, St. Farnans, in alongside Eastern Harps, Torla Strand and Ennis Grown Kiglas in group one. The next team into group two. Number one. Is number one. Ballymote have been going well this year so far. They join St. John's, Eski, and Castle Connor in Group 2. So two teams remaining. Uh, next one, number nine. Number nine. St. Melosh Gales go in alongside St. Farnans, Eastern Harps, Torla Strand, and Enniscone Kiglas in Group 1. And the final team out, Sean, into Group 2. Number two is number two, Bonanadden, join neighbours Ballymote, St. John's, Eski and Castle Connor. So there's your draw for the Connacht Gold Intermediate Football Championship for 2021. Let's recap that for you. In Group 1, Enniscrone Kiglas, Torla Strand, Eastern Harps, St. Farnans and St. Melosh Gales. And in Group 2, Castle Connor, Eski, St. John's, Ballymote 
and Bonin Adden. So that's the draw for the intermediate for 2021. Conor Murray, your initial reaction to that? Yeah, again, intermediate last year was very competitive. This year, it's no different. There's some cracking games to look forward to there. As you mentioned, in Group 1 there, you've Eastern Harps down from the senior ranks. They'll be looking to bounce straight back. Saw St. Farnans last weekend without the hurling contingent. Very impressive. Paddy O'Connor didn't have any inter-county hangover. Played very, very well at full forward for them. And then St. Malasha Gales have been very, very impressive again. Jimmy Langan is back in there. They look uh, saw them as well against Callery, put up a very impressive display in Hazelwood and look all business. So, you know, they'll all fancy their chances. Uh, then in Group 2, you've the TST West Lego Derby that you mentioned. Uh, and you've also got Ballymote going really well, beating Curry in the league already. They have a really they've a good young team building on their minor A success a couple of years ago. And Bun and Adden, even though they're down in Division 3, they have a really, really good team. Um, they have two man mountains in the middle of the field, Matthew Clavin and Adrian Frayne, you know, trying to get by that is going to pose problems for teams. So again, to pick a winner out of it, very difficult. I I think, you know, the, the team last year, St. Malash Gales, will have learned a lot from their from their journey through it last year, through to a final. Uh, I like the look of them. They've some really exciting players, good forward play, and they're, they're well set up and strong at the back. They'd be they be my favourites, but again, it's going to be a fantastic championship to look forward to. Yeah, certainly is. We look forward to the Intermediate uh, Championship for 2021. So there are the groups, and the competition begins on the weekend of August 14th and 15th. So too is the Senior Football Championship, and we'll get to that draw in a moment. But first, let's reflect on how last year's championship unfolded. So here's Markovic Park on County Final Day for 2020. The Intermediate Football Final between Curry and St. Melosh Gales and the Senior Final between Drum Cliff Ross's Point and Tour de Strand. Normally Markovic Park can hold in the region of about 12,500 today. Only 200 inside the ground, but lots of people looking in from around the world to see who can make history. Can Drum Cliff Ross's Point win a first ever Senior Football title or can Tour de Strand become the first club in the county to win five senior titles in a row? It'll be a historic day either way. Drumcliff Ross's Point can win their first ever Sligo Senior Football title or Torla Strand can become the first club to win five titles in a row. And it's live here on SligoGA.ie. Pat Hart against Paul Durkin at the dressing room. Pat Hart! What a finish from the experienced midfielder, Pat Hart rattles it to the roof of the net. We had a goal chance for Liam Gohan, Gohan in one-on-one. -on -one. And Gohan, Stephen Cohen against Adam Bro. Cohen stepping up left-footed and finishes to the bottom left-hand corner. And uh, all of a sudden, we've got daylight here. Absolutely, in it's horrendous. I, I've been in a lot of camps. <laughs> you lose a lot of games in football, but that one is just... There's no words for it. Nathan Rooney, goal chance for St. Mary's. Composure needed. Composure indeed from Nathan Rooney. It's a goal for St. Mary's. The forward and Paul Logan with a goal chance here. Logan will go with the fist pass across. Al Kaleri. Goal for Drumcliff Ross's point where we mentioned how big an impact a goal might Kean Lally. Lally ships a hit from Keelan Cawley. And now Kieran pump this one in. He might try and pump it to a wide area. Just dinks it in. Accomplished soccer player as well for Manor Rangers. But that ball is brilliantly won back there by Barry Walsh. And there's the full-time whistle in Markovic Park. It's all over. And Torla Strand have become the first club in Sligo Club football history to win their fifth title in a row. They've won here by a margin of three points in a uh, ding dong. I'm very relieved, Carl. I think um, you know we we were we, we played really really well and at, at times we just weren't getting the scores, particularly in the first half. And you know, credit to St Mary's, you know they have a, they had a threat inside which we had talked about. And you know you'll get goals; they're just so hard to, to claw back. And you know it looked like it was dead and buried. The chances is Rory is helping me here with the <laughs> with the microphone. I should maybe have just stepped down, maybe Rory. <laughs> So that's how Tour de Strand won their historic fifth title in a row last year. They'll be going for a sixth in 2021 as we get the Homeland Senior Football Championship draw underway in just a moment. But first, let's uh, just get a run through of the format from Fergus. Thanks, Colin. Uh, so the format of the Senior Football Championship is the same as the Intermediate. So we'll have 10 teams split into two groups of five. Um, first, name, first drawn team into Group 1, second drawn team into Group 2, third drawn team into Group 1 again. 
Uh, the top two in this competition will progress to semi-finals, same as intermediate, and the bottom two in each division will contest the relegation semi-finals. Okay, Fergus, thank you indeed for that. So the 10 teams in the Sligo Senior Football Championship for 2021. Number one is Colry St. Joseph's. Number two, Kalani Mullabrina. Number three, Kulara Strand Hill. Number four, Curry. Number five, Drumcliff Ross's Point. Number six, Giva. Number seven, Shamrock Gales. Number eight, St. Mary's. Number nine, Torla Strand. And number ten, Tubber Curry. So, Sean, we'll let you get the draw underway. So, the first team out will go into Group One. And that team is? Number three. Number three, Kulara Strand Hill. Fell narrowly at the semi final stage last year. And they go into group one. Group two. Number five. Is number five. Drunk Cliff Ross's point. The team that beat Calera Strand Hill in the semi-final last year and went so close to winning that final against Torla Strand. Number one. Colry St. Joseph's in alongside Calera Strand Hill in group one. The next team into group two alongside Drunk Cliff Ross's point. Number nine. Is Torla Strand. So it's uh, a repeat of the <coughs> county final straight off the bat there in group two. Into group one, the next team in there, number eight, is number eight, St. Mary's, another side that will have eyes on the prize this year, after a narrow semi-final loss last year. The next team into group two, it's number six, is number six, Giva, who stayed up last year through the relegation playoffs. They joined Torla Strand and Drum Cliff Ross's point in group two. Next team into group one, Sean. Number four, is number four, Curry. Intermediate football champions last year. They'll be hoping to make an impact back in the top tier. Next team into group two. It's number two. Is number two. Kalani Munnabrina into group two. And they join Giva, Torla Strand and Drumcliff Ross's point. Last team into group one. Number ten. Is number ten. Turber Curry join Curry, St. Mary's, Colry St. Joseph's and Calera Strand Hill. And the final team shown into group two to complete the draw. Number seven is number seven Shamrock Gales into group two. So that's the draw for the Homeland Sligo Senior Football Championship for 2021. In group one, Calera Strand Hill, Colry St. Joseph's, St. Mary's, Curry and Tober Curry. And in group two, Drumcliff Ross's Point, Torla Strand, Giva, Kalani Mullabrina and Shamrock Gales. So that's the draw, Con O'Mara. What do you make of that? Yeah, tasty. Tasty gains in that again. And the big question, Carl, can anyone unseat Tour de Strand this year? New management, uh, Kevin Johnson coming in. He's had great success with Ballant Hubber in Mayo. Um, they've seen no signs of flagging under new management yet. He brings something new to them. I know I've heard, I haven't seen them, but I've heard Johnny Kelly is playing with a, a freedom and abandonment that had, uh, that had have any defence shaken in their boots. Uh, and their SNC is, is, is meant to be going very well for them there as well. But I think there are a lot. The chase and pack are there ready to snap at their heels. We saw some great games last year. We saw Aidan Rooney there, you know, dejected after falling short last year when they were so close you've got uh, Drumcliff Ross's point were in the final last year Clara Strand Hill very strong last year disappointed to, to lose out in the semi-final I think they've, they've strengthened their, their reserves with the likes of Ross O'Carroll from you know, Dublin uh, fame coming in there at centre back organising matters and you've Niall Murphy back from his travels so uh, last year teams had to worry about Barry O'Mahony now they've Niall Murphy in there as well so uh, I, I think it makes for a, a fantastic championship Tour de Strand, the favourites starting out again? Oh, they have to be. They know how to do it. You know, they, that's just what they do. Um, I would say that looking on paper, they're the easier of the two groups. We get slated from a couple of clubs for that, but I, I, I think they'll navigate that fairly well. They'll get into the top two there. Um, on the other side then, one of the interesting clubs coming up, fascinating to see how Curry get on uh, coming up for intermediate because they have the forwards like they, they, they pulled on Cliff Ross's point apart there in the league game and on Cliff Ross's point are, are not exactly giving loads of free space at the back but they've really good forwards you know Red Oak Murphy Alan Riley out around the middle uh, the likes of Tommy Henry coming back into form uh, I think they could be the, the dark horses in it but for me it would be Clara Strand Hill as the challenger is to Tour Strand. Well, it promises to be interesting. Conor Mara, thank you very much indeed for that and your contributions throughout the course of the evening. So that's the Sligo Senior Football Championship draw for 2021 and the Senior Championship, as with the Intermediate, they both get underway on the weekend of August 14th and 15th. So that's almost our lot here from Homeland and Deepwater Quay this evening. Thank you for your company if you're watching in on the Sligo J YouTube page or indeed listening in on Ocean FM. You'll get all the details of all the draws across the four football championships 
Championships and the Sligo Senior Hurling Championship on SligoJ.ie in the coming days and at the start dates for all the competitions. Our thanks to Rory O'Brien and his team for getting us out on air this evening from Homeland tonight and to all our contributors throughout the course of the evening. We look forward to an exciting summer of football and hurling across the county. But from Deepwater Quay and Homeland here this evening, it's good night.